Hi, what's up? My name is Ty Holmberg and I'm coming to you from the Sankofa Community Farm right here in beautiful Southwest Philadelphia on Bartram's Gardens land. So down here at Sankofa, we are spiritually rooted, we are a intergenerational, and we are a African diasporic center farm. And 10 years ago, actually this year, and the crowd goes wild, 10 year anniversary. Uh, we planted this beautiful orchard. Um, it is one of the most diverse orchards in Philadelphia. We have apples, we have plums, we have cherries. Um, but my favorite is right behind us, with the most beautiful fig trees that I need a ladder to be able to go and get those figs. Um, and this year, because it's been such a mild winter, we were able to get two crops. And we have about seven different varieties of figs, which also makes it super beautiful. And right here, oh my gosh, we got one. That's amazing. Um, I think one of the most amazing and magical things about fruit is that there is this incredible connection uh, from tree land to plant to sweetness, right? And um, that connection, which doesn't happen as easily with like a collard green or a turnip, um, has been really amazing to see over the years with the young people. And um, so I think our dream is that the orchard continues to be a space where people can really reconnect to the land. Um, and that the young people that come after, after school or during the summer or a lot of the uh, visitors who are wandering can also just be educated about what can grow here and maybe take some of that learning back to their own um, houses and communities about what plants um, can grow in Philadelphia and at this temperate zone. Hi, I'm Jeannie Gerth and I am a steward at Aubrey Food Forest. So I, I get to spend time with different plants that I didn't, wouldn't normally get to spend time with and learn a, about you know, harvesting, pruning, disease management, all of that. And um, yeah, it's great. Hi, I'm Jean. I'm a steward here at the uh, Food Forest at Aubrey Arboretum. Um, this is one of my two favorite spots, I'd say, because this is sort of feels like the main entrance and it has a sense of, in, in, of an invitation to a special space, which is exactly what it is. I love being a part of this because I love creating a little ecosystem that is taking care of itself, animals, and also taking care of us, with providing us with edible and medicinal plants. And I feel as though that's where we need more and more to be moving, to take care of the planet. And I love coming here and learning every time and having this communal experience with other stewards. Hello there, my name is Al, and welcome to the farm at the Sunday Breakfast Rescue Mission. The Sunday Breakfast Rescue Mission is located at 302 North 13th Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19107 in USDA Zone 7B. And I wanted to bring you to my favorite place in the orchard, which is with the grapevine. Still working on training it appropriately because it's pretty much just gotten wild here after not training it to like a T setup. I'm very proud of this grapevine because it only went in this year and sprouted all of this wonderful wood so that next year we can have some grapes and hopefully they will be beautiful. Hi, I'm Hannah and we're at Ethan Poplar Farm. Um, Pop has been an orchard partner with us for over a decade now, I think. You can see there's like pretty big trees. Um, yeah, and we use this space um, as an educational space. Um, it's great that we have Pop up when it's out here because everybody loves fruits. <laughs> Um, we get our best fruits from orchard trees, berry bushes. One of the one of the main ways we use this as an educational space is through our summer youth program with BYN. It's really great that the youth have the opportunity to learn not only about annuals but about um, perennial fruit bushes, and it's great to have them um, also.
also interact with the community gardeners and people coming off the street. Um, and we use, you know, the various types of uh, produce and plants that are on the farm to help the youth teach community members as well about what they're learning. That's it. Hi, my name is Patty Tahan. I'm here at Gardens at South Philadelphia High School. And so this year we we're happy to welcome two students uh, with the Work Ready program. We actually, one of the students started in the school year and she's learning about plant identification, division, uh, you know, and propagation, um, you know, also you know, harvesting. She's learning about permaculture. Um, and then we have a second, you know, she brought in a friend for the summer happily and she's teaching her, which is pretty awesome because it's, um, it's just more fun to, you know, teach one and then they teach somebody else. A great student is a senior at the high school and she has agreed to, you know, use the garden and to be an ambassador into the high school, which is really key because, you know, it's just hard to, you know, with all of the responsibilities that teachers and educators have and even administration, and it just takes a long time to build that relationship to get people into the habit of using the space, whether it be for teaching, you know, or, you know, just to come and enjoy the space because it's beautiful. Hi, my name is Amy and I am the lead orchard volunteer for the food forest in West Fairmount Park. Uh, the food forest is a joint project of the Philadelphia Orchard Project, Master Gardeners Program of Penn State, and my Girl Scout troop, um, Troop 93273. The food forest is an amazing site located near Shofosu, the uh, Japanese tea house in West Fairmont Park. Mm -hmm. The highlights at this time of the year are probably the figs, of which, as you can see, the squirrels have been grabbing most of. Um, it's a really big site, so come check it out. This is the Monumental Orchard, and the reason that we love it so much is because not only does it provide us with uh, fruit and a shady place to hang out, but it also provides us with an opportunity to learn more about uh, horticulture and just, you know, plants and how to raise them and what is really good for your body in terms of uh, natural essence. Here we have some blackberries and they're very ripe, very dark blackberries just all along the fence. Very nice. Oh no, you, you, you think about when I up in the, on that one with the guy. You guys want to try some of these? So this is our harvest for today and uh, we're gonna go out and share this with the community but before this video ends I would just like to give a big shout out to uh, Philly Orchard um, and City Harvest who have been partnered with us for many many years and none of this would be possible without them.